Joining Jimmy Johnson and me now is John Sataras. He is founder and CEO of Sataras Fitness right here in New York City. Among many of his clients is Jimmy Johnson. In full disclosure, I also work out with him. He has a <laughs> studio that, that's across the street. But he and I have had long conversations about what he does with Jimmy. And then Jimmy, uh, as when I read and know that what his plans are, understand that fitness uh, in, in most sports, look at golf and how much Tiger works out. Look at uh, the way baseball players are so much in such better shape today. Obviously, football players. Fitness has become an essential of being Thought a great athlete. Yeah. yeah. Talk about it in terms of driving a car. Well, uh, you know, in the car, there's certainly you, you do build strength by doing the job. But uh, you know, with the repetition we have and how many races we have, uh, you need to do more than that. And I, I think over time. Um, if you want to be in the sport and you want to succeed and be around for a while, you really need to focus on that stuff. You want to win four championships. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you better have some endurance. How did you two meet? Um, uh, th through one of his friends, right. actually. Um, almost a couple of years ago, I um, actually brought him in as a guest, and um, I didn't really follow the sport. But you didn't know a whole lot about NASCAR when he came no, in? No, 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 but well, uh, my pal. I'm in love with fitness, so I pretty much can design any program. You just tell me what you want to do, and I'll just plot away and then find out your thresholds, how strong you are, your endurance. But particularly, I, I want to know um, where, what are your goals so I can actually plot the course. When he came in, he, he came in in pretty good shape. Yes. And so, um, I, I, yes, and then he was confident, but actually very, very humble. Yeah, I would um, do some assessments with him, and uh, I remember his friend said, No, no, no assessments. He's in good shape. Just put him through a workout. I was like, No. I have to do assessments and see where he is, and and he was pretty um, open and and he was well rounded, very fit, I would say. Um, he, so, but tough. I would um, do some assessments that are a little bit hard, and and yeah. I was like, okay, uh, we have to stop here. He's like, no, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's, you two, let's, you two, email each other all day. Um, yeah, text. We with do text. text. With uh, being on the road like I am, um, when I'm in New York, going and be assessed and, and figure out you know, new, new workout plans and what we're going to do. But so much of it uh, is done from afar. So he'll send me an email of what the plan is. Um, I'll print it out, uh, fill out the sheet, and fax it back to his office. Right. Uh, then he has run this schedules has how for How many me. repetitions you do and all those kind of things? Yeah, I'll, I'll, the exact workout yeah. of what I need to do. And then daily he updates me on my run yeah. schedule and the ab schedule that I have to do. So Now, do your fellow drivers know how much better shape you have become? I think I in the last year and a half, my appearance has changed so much that people, and I, as John mentioned, I've always done something and been involved, but uh, my appearance has changed so much that people are like, what, what is Johnson doing? <laughs> <laughs> and so what is he doing? <laughs> uh, you know, He's keeping you on a regimen. He yeah. is, and I, I, there were a lot of aspects to it that I didn't really take seriously, and the nutrition side, uh, you know, rest and sleep and, right. and proteins and the different aspects yeah. of it that I, I just didn't realize. Have you really given up certain difference. kinds of food too? Yeah, I've uh, <laughs> grew up in Southern California, so avocados are a huge uh, yeah. treat for me, and I've had to cut those things way back, yeah. if not completely out. So there's been a lot of adjustments that have been made. It's yeah. been it's worked. Now, what kind of routine do you have him on? Uh, predominantly, it was a lot of endurance. He does do strength training. I, I don't want to take that away from him. Um, he's doing chest dips, which um, he's too humble to say, but he's actually doing chest dips with a 45-pound plate strapped between his legs, and he has to do his body weight plus the additional weight, <laughs> and he's doing several sets, and then um, he can rip out and then additionally does yeah. his body weight at the very end. So it, we take him past his threshold, and then we actually take him past his um, endurance threshold. So he, um, sometimes he has to hit a certain body part um, two, three times a week. So the uh, I want him to get stronger and actually the, the recovery, I, it's my goal to get him the recovery so fast that um, Monday would seem like the hard day for him and Sunday would seem um, being the race would be the easy day for him. Whereas uh, come race days and uh, it's like uh, if he can run 10 miles, it's yeah. easy to walk one mile. And is that so true? It is. It, it, the easiest thing I do during the week is the race. Um, Monday is typically a tough day. I'm a little dehydrated from the race, and right. Monday, Tuesday are our heavy days with the weights. Um, and then depending on the run schedule he has, I mean, some weeks it could be 20 miles. It's about a two-hour workout, yeah. and he has so many uh, repetitions and sets of uh, abdominals and from all different um, angles and, um, and yeah. internal obliques, external obliques. And so you have um, pretty much, uh, it's weaved in, so it's not um, one set. He has maybe anywhere from eight, 
um, to 10 sets for hundreds of repetitions mm -hmm. in addition to uh, lifting. So he, we don't really rest between sets. He would actually have to do the jump rope in between, pretty much train like a boxer. So his heart rate is at a constant. It usually hits up definitely over 120 to 150 and it comes back down a little bit and then boom, right again, the next set. So I know ex his exact threshold, but mind you that um, it evolves. It gets harder and harder as the weeks go on. So it's not just the same <laughs> program that the same print down and he just checks it off. And sometimes he's um, a little ahead of schedule. He was like, okay, what's next? Uh, how do we go past here? So what I like to say about him is that I would say he's actually a, a smart um, student. Uh, I call everyone my students by nature and um, as a teacher, but he's a smart student that um, he, besides do, doing the work, he knows ahead of time what he has to do. When he's finished with it, um, if he wants a specific area to get stronger, he would ask, so how do I get uh, past this peak? Uh, and I was like, well, you're doing well as is. He's like, no, I like to get past this. I like to get better. How do I get this? Uh, is there any other way? I was like, well, technically there's yeah. two other ways. And yeah. he would actually want to plug away, have a chart, and do yeah. it. And uh, I've never Never seen such discipline. The so. discipline is key, isn't it? I mean, he really wants to do it. Discipline. He's talented. Um, you know, you show him a new exercise, so he, he has really good um, hand-eye coordination. He can do it. Uh, but the discipline, the dedication, and um, when it's done, it's done. If I say, okay, you, uh, we have a few miles per week left for the run. He's like, okay, I'm really busy, but I'll find a way within my schedule to do it in, so we have to break it up. So he'll, I'll give him, he has great structure. I would mm -hmm. say discipline, structure, and focus. Mm -hmm. Now, other drivers come in here saying, hey, what, do you, what? come on, how are you doing this, and how do you find out how to do this? Well, and I've been trying to keep this a secret until okay. now. I'm so screwed, no, I'm joking, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you look through the garage area, um, yeah. virtually everyone is on a program of sorts. And he's kept my interest because uh, it's he has great structure as well right. and in our world and dealing with numbers and structure and seeing growth and measuring things um, that's the way he goes about his fitness as you know and it it has really kept my interest uh, congratulations again thank you so much this is a great achievement as it everybody is. in racing knows pleasure to be on the um, show and thank you very much thank you onward and upward I guess I you hope know. so Next I'm not season. sure where else we can go we're going to no, try to exactly go there right. <laughs> thank you John thank pleasure you, you on the congratulations program. Jimmy thanks buddy yeah. you were there yes I was yeah. there so you champagne all of you whatever it is <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he actually got soaked. <laughs> <laughs> got soaked. I, I didn't know. Uh, you have to close your eyes. I mean, it's, it seems illogical. And I'm over yeah. there, and he's handing me a town. I was like, whoa. So he made this form of bodybuilder into an NASCAR fan. <laughs> he was, it depends on how you look at it, the wrong place at the wrong time, or the right place at the right time, because they handed us champagne bottles, and he was just standing on the stage congratulating everyone. <laughs> I was soaked in the process. I knew I was going to get it. <laughs> Again, thank you, Jim. You got it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, John. Thank you. thank you for joining us. See you next time.